Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching Arrives Africa, and we're getting to the sports segment. Today, I'm joined with my analyst in studio again um, to demystify some of the sports issues. Is Emmanuel Nanda. Welcome, Emmanuel. Uh, thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm. So yes. today, we're going to get sporty. There's a lot of story around Howard Webb, who is retiring now okay. as a referee career, mm -hmm. and Lampard, who has decided to move to Manchester City, yes. and also uh, Manchester United win. Um, end their tour, US tour, unbeaten. Okay. Good stories ahead, right? Okay. Now let's see what's it, sports. It, let me, if I can give you what's on sport. Okay. Howard Webb has ended 25 years refereeing career as being up, well, after being appointed as the technical director of the official referees association. The Webb associated the Webb associated with 500 Premier Leagues and football matches in 2010 and the World Cup final. 43, the the, the 43 year old. Um, in his career of the 18, 18, uh, 1989, was progressing with each in the northern northern countries of football uh, league to become a select group of the referee in 2003. Webb was involved in nine major international tournaments to take charge of the Champions League final and officiated every major domestic final during the last one year uh, in Brazil. He refereed Group C and match, matches between Colombia and Ivory Coast and the first knockout in Brazil and Chile. And in 2011, he was appointed as a member of the British Empire um, service of, to football. On my screen, you can see a photo of Webb, a very serious man. Um, uh, he was really, really loved. And now he's moved on to the technical, uh, he's moved on as the technical director of the official referee association. Yes, and moving on to other stories, Frank Lampard uh, dis uh, described as his own uh, he described his own move to Manchester City as a fantastic opportunity that he started in the training in the Premier League champions on Wednesday. Lampard was released by Chelsea after a 13 year stay in June and signed in as a New York uh, signing for New York for a new two year deal in July. The England international midfielder on loan from the U.S. side until January, said that this is a chapter on my career and I'm really excited about it. He said that, the, uh, he said, uh, Frank Lampard, who is 33, said that, and I quote, I am looking forward to getting training and making contribution to Manchester City. He added that joining up to Manchester is a fantastic opportunity for me to continue to train and play in top levels and to make sure that the top conditions in Manchester City. On my screen, you can see Frank Lampard. He's grown old now, but if you can remember in his younger days, yeah, there it is in New York FC, um, is Frank Lampard moving on to Manchester City and other stories our uh, Manchester United have, have added uh, the U uh, have ended the US period pre tour period and beaten with a 3-1 win in the Premier League rivals Liverpool uh, Steven Gerrard the penalty gave the Liverpool a lead and the defender Phil Phil Jones uh, became the first uh, defender Phil Jones brought down winger Raheem Sterling before Wayne Rooney and Juan Mata and JC Lingard replied for re uh, replied for Manchester United uh, more than 50,000 fans were in Sun Life Stadium, home to NFL Miami Dolphins, to see the international champions World Cup final. Striker Wayne Rooney, captaining the, the United, scored an equalizer in the third goal in co and the third and his third goal in the co in the competition. Uh, 55 minutes uh, from Javier Hernandez cross, one Mata gave his side the lead just minutes later before the fellow mid midfielder L L Lingat, um, Lingat rather, rounded off the victory near the end of Rooney where he named the players tournament, uh, where he was named the player of the tournament. That was Rooney being named the player of the tournament. And Van Gaal also uh, singled out the England striker with some special praise, describing him as a winner. And uh, you can see on my screen, the victory looks really sweet because victory was theirs in this U.S. pre-season tour. And that, that was some of, those are some of the stories in sports. And if you could just help us demystify some of the stories, starting off with Howard Webb. How about that? Actually, <clears throat> thank you very much again. Howard Webb retirement came in as a surprise to many. <clears throat> Lovers of soccer, actually. He's been uh, referring for more than, it's now 25 years now. Yeah, actually, he's 45 years of age. Mm -hmm. You don't expect him to retire at that age. But maybe has quitted that job to go and join another job, to get a job, mm. actually, the officiating. So his retirement actually will be a major blow to 
uh, referring uh, department in general. We saw in 2010 World Cup South Africa. Howard Webb didn't ha actually, we didn't have a referee mm -hmm. to uh, officiate that final between uh, Netherlands and actually Spain. Spain. And then all of a sudden Webb came in. He was chosen to be the best referee mm -hmm. to referee that game. It ended very well and nobody actually cried about the referee or what and what and what. Mm -hmm. So actually it's a big blow. But, some but then he has been appointed to the technical director or, or official of the referee association. Yeah. So that should be looking out for him. Yeah, for him, it's a greener pasture for him. But uh, for refereeing, <laughs> refereeing wild. Uh, that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. So on the, the other side, you can say for the haters or the lovers of soccer, you can say they usually say how oh, the is a referee for Manchester United. But then he actually he actually was. He, he could be seen being inclined <laughs> to Manchester United in repeated games. If I could have, if, I, if I could have collected the YouTube clips in games that which it's really it's really hilarious the way he he's really on point when it comes to Manchester United. Actually, going. I was reading some tweets that are very funny. Mm -hmm. They're saying actually Van Gaal was unable to renew the contract of. He, uh, uh, <laughs> he trended yesterday. <laughs> he trended the yesterday. Contract of Howard Webb. Yeah. Uh, Manchester United's legend retires at 45. Actually, this was <laughs> 43. Some, <laughs> 43. This was some of the uh, tweets that, mm. that actually were. He actually trending. trended. Howard Webb trended, mm. yeah, uh, trended. With, with, with other topics mm. uh, on Twitter. This and shows that he's very, actually, he's a public figure. Mm -hmm. uh, very many people like him, others hate him. He has a lot of drama. We yeah. all love him. We all, we all will miss him in the football world. Yeah. I've been watching it for a while now, but I had to go back to, my, to history so that I can see the football in clips. I never used to watch football that much. Oh. But nowadays, I'm, I'm a growing fan. Actually, I should pick a team now. Yeah. You need to pick a team. <laughs> Before the season starts. Uh, I think Sunderland can fit for No, 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 no. We are picking winners. No, okay. we are picking winners. Okay, which team do you want to pick? I, I don't want to say it now. Okay. I might be incriminated once it loses. Don't pick top 10. <laughs> don't pick top 10. No, I'm Actually, not picking those other ones. Top 10. Uh -huh. Try picking position 15, moving down once. Why? 16, 17, 18. For a start. I wouldn't know the players. Lampard. I wouldn't know the players. <laughs> we are digressing. Frank Lampard, I'm uh, moving to Manchester City. Okay. Frank Lampard has been at Chelsea for 13 years old. Not 13 years old. <laughs> for 13 years. <laughs> Sorry for that. For 13 years, actually. Uh -huh. and then uh, he moved to <laughs> New York City on a free, uh, a free deal. Yes. That has been... <laughs> I'm not letting you fly with that. 13 years old. <laughs> okay. Uh, you confused me. Mm -hmm. Because you are 13 year old, you, in football, <laughs> training football. <laughs> you. When you join football, you'll be 13 years old. Actually, I meant you. So, that is not a good save. <laughs> but oh well, carrying on. So, he joined New York City FC. And, uh, he never played even a single game. Mm -hmm. uh, but he later moved to Manchester City on a loan. Mm -hmm. One year loan deal. So after Manchester City, he'll go back to New York City. Uh, we, New York City, actually, in the U.S., we, we are aware of very these old players, veteran players, like mm -hmm. the likes of Pierre Henry. Mm -hmm. They usually go there after... Re Are retiring. Not retiring, actually, after they are done with their career. They are just passing time, waiting for retire. Mm -hmm. So at Manchester City, I think, he'll, he's the big name there. So far this season, we haven't seen any big name yeah, he signing. Is. Or he's a big name there, though he's a free mm -hmm. signing. Let him try his best. But then what, actually, does that, what does that mean for Chelsea? What does that mean to Chelsea? Actually, Chelsea, if I were Chelsea on Chelsea technical bench or managing mm. uh, section, I could say that let Lampard, let give him a deal until he retires. Just like Ryan Giggs, yes. until he retires at uh, Chelsea. Actually, mm -hmm. he's a legend. So letting me out maybe mm -hmm. shows less respect for him. But <laughs> let's assume that he they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And Manchester United finally wins. This should be exciting news for all Manchester fans out there. Actually, they win their preseason US tour. Unbeaten. Unbeaten. Okay, this ends actually the, you know, when David Moyes was at United, actually he <laughs> created some wounds. Huh? We're going back to Moyes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Actually, uh -huh. the United fans were heartbroken, but these five games um, Van Gaal has played and mm -hmm. won all of them, actually is uh, a, a good start for United. Mm -hmm. He actually has tried to seal the wounds that Moyes created at United. If you remember the prison tour mm -hmm. of the other season, last season, Moyes' season at United, he went for he, he played seven games. He only won two. Mm -hmm. You can imagine Van Gaal is unbeaten. 
So there's uh, actually black and white. Moise yes. is black, Vanguard is white, you can differentiate. Okay, so it's a good good news for them. There, there you go again with the controversial statement. You're going to get yourself sued someday. <laughs> You're going to get They'll crucify me. They'll one crucify day. you. That's the truth. So the we can see actually they beat Liverpool three mm -hmm. one. It it was a good team. Remembering that Liverpool mm -hmm. is the biggest rivalry in. It's now a derby. When you go, mm -hmm. go to England, I mean, I mean, you get Liverpool and Manchester United is a derby. Mm -hmm. Just like Real Madrid and Barcelona, El Clasico is a. a Derby, mm -hmm. yeah. So all that is a good news for Manchester United. Mm -hmm. Now they're starting their uh, season in one week time. Now on 16, they'll be there with Swansea, mm -hmm. uh, trying to see to gauge now Van Gaal. Now you are the manager. The this is the starting of the season. We, we, I'd like what to see how we'll juggle them. You know, because we, we've got good players like uh, uh, Javier, uh -huh. Javier Hernandez, we've Luke got uh, Luke Shaw, we've got, we've, we've got uh, the, the striker who's captaining well, for, for, for the time, Rooney. Rooney. Yeah, we also have Van Persie who captained Netherlands the World Cup. I'd like to see how Van Gaal will shuffle them so that yeah, I see actually, even that if you see the, the team. formation that Van Gaal is using, mm -hmm. the 3-5-2, actually no team in England is using that formation. And that formation is the formation that Van Gaal used at the World Cup. That is a more attacking attacking kind of... Yeah, yeah because he has to pack the midfield. Five mm. midfield, then two strikers, three yes. defenders. Mm -hmm. So most of the effort is concentrated on the, On midfield. the midfield. Yeah, so that formation. Actually, very many the players have adapted it. Mm -hmm. And the system is working. You see, at least they've, they've scored goals. Every w game they score, they score. Yeah. But then we, we'll, we'll just see after the season starts. It, it should be good. It should be good, good, good tidings for them after after we're done with yeah, the sports. It's just uh, a week from now. Then we'll see if we smother. I, mean, I'll, I'll, I would have picked a team by then and getting debates heated up. Okay. Here. So will you go Here. for each Here. team? England, Spain. I'll, Italy? I'll pick one from each. Oh. One from then La Liga. It's good. You one, start one with from KPL. English. I have one. I will have one in KPL. I'm not okay. saying now because oh. it will just definitely show where I come I, from. I know it's Moroni. <laughs> <laughs> but then that was what I hope I didn't miss anything on sports oh. this week. Oh, you didn't miss. Those were the trending mm -hmm. topics. I, I really like it when you're on set because I get more informed on sports. And I hope you do mm -hmm. get informed on sports. We are going on a short commercial break. But when we come back, you meet my guest for the day and you get to share good stories. So keep it Arise Africa.